Now here's one of my favourite quacks. Because when I used to be in New Age and Spiritualism, people would quote this guy, Dr. Imato. They would say he has proven that human consciousness impacts molecules of water. People would point to his books, which sold very well. They would say, why would he lie? He's a professional. He's a doctor. But in actuality, his doctorate is not in a recognised field of science. It's alternative medicine. So he's a quack doctor with a spiritual degree, claiming that water is impacted by consciousness and selected the results in order to boost his book-selling career. Now maybe I shouldn't speak foully of the dead. He died last year, so maybe some wounds are still tender. But let's point out the obvious. This man was not a doctor. This man was not a professional. This individual was simply a person proposing a pseudoscience point of view. And yet people like Spirit Science and various other individuals on the internet still use this guy. An argument from the skeptical perspective is that there was a triple blind study on Emoto's research and several times they didn't see nearly the same results that Emoto did. Does this mean Emoto is a lying crazy Japanese guy? He was a fraud. Now his claim was that emotions like love and hate impact water and you can see those results in ice crystals. So in ice crystals with hate you see an unpleasant shape in the ice like a mutation caused by the negative emotion. But with pleasant emotions like love and peace and joy, you end up with beautiful ice crystals. The only problem was, he was well known for tailoring his results. It proves nothing other than his ability to deceive perhaps himself, but more than not, other people. Suddenly the desolation, the solitude became unendurable.